Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert an STL file to a solid body. So it became in the reverse engineering section, so if I just need to input the file, so I have first to do a, a box and just apply it, go to tools, power surfacing, import to current document, and I'm going to select import reference mesh. So I have my file here, I'm just going to open it directly and accept as millimeters. So here's my file now. Now I can delete this box, I don't need it anymore. And as you see the orientation is a little bit difficult to rotate about the camera. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do an edit to this mesh and select switch to phase group selection and unselect the paint selection so now i have ability to select this whole face or all the all of this body so i'm just going to any view so let's say this view select my body and enable the gizmo editing so i just need this to rotate a little like this and hold the shift key and the forward arrow on the keyboard to get another view and I'm gonna make some rotations so I can sweep or snap it to the to the bottom here so I have ability to see if it's just good or not and another view and rotate like this you can hold the control key to see if it's just flat now another view get the top view and a little bit of rotation again all right so it's now good now all the views you can see it's now great need to adjust it a little from this view a little bit all right so this seems to be good for me now I can press ok to apply the adjustments and the next step is as you see it's the camera now is very great and I can move it freely without any problems go to quite wrap I'm going to select uh, 0.5% and the mesh is not closed, 5 sided and press OK. Okay, so I have my port quite rapid. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to shrink wrap it. So I'm going to shrink wrap at level 1 and Let's just press OK. Okay, here we go. If we just activate the distance to see how it's far from the model. So it's all green, which means we are good. Okay. So from here, I'm gonna do just a little quick thing, and I'm gonna go to the power surfacing menu, dialogs, and sub D checker. So I'm gonna check everything first. So it's gonna tell me that. We have a concave, concave faces. 
I'm gonna go to concave faces here, check sub D again. We have one concave face. So it's right here. So I'm gonna press the relax tool. So the relax here is about 300. I'm gonna press OK. And go to dialogues again, sub D checker. And you can see no problems found. So from here, I can press apply and convert my body. So now we have our body and it's a full solid as you see. Maybe just insert any material. And let's enable the section view. So you can see we have a solid. So this is supposed to be a shellit board and everything looks great here. Okay, so the next step is we can adjust these bad surfaces. So we have ability to go to front plan and sketch and let's adjust these things. We have these slots here for an example something like this and move a little and the same thing here we have two squares okay I'm going to draw this rectangle manually and get fillets maybe two millimeters of fillets This intersection and all right, and also about the circle. You can tie the dimensions also. So maybe if this is a five millimeters, maybe six or five and a half, the same exact here. And done, let's extrude, cut here, through all both. clean slots here and even the circles are now good you can go to performance and just increase it a little and change it we got even here I'm gonna get the front plan and hold the control key and move it upward here. Okay. And I'm gonna sketch on this plan. Sort of circle. I'm gonna try to get it on the center here. Let's remove this coincidence and ok 
okay and another one here Do the future and extrude and offset, reverse the offset, maybe fifteen, and this one here, maybe ten. Eight. I'm gonna make it seven. All right, and press OK. And now we have a new extrude. What I'm gonna do now is another sketch and another holes inside. extrude cut now go to the fillet now you got the fillet you want and the exact same here and another fillet here maybe this is gonna be one maybe one and half Okay. Maybe you can do the fill it in the bottom also. Let's try. Oops. I think I'm gonna edit this extrude need to be a little inside okay now it's gonna be changed from the offset maybe this is going to be 17 and this one is 9 Thank you. 